Hello, this is Erin James Sharp, and welcome to the Artful Kids YouTube channel. Um, today we're going to create The Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. And my classes have already learned a little bit about Vincent Van Gogh and what a famous painter he was and his inspiration behind painting. Um, so we're going to work on our version of The Starry Night. So let's get started. So what we're gonna need, a black piece of paper or a blue piece of paper, light blue or dark blue. Um, I'm going to go with black to start with and we've got oil pastels and a pencil. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, so first thing what we're gonna do with the pencil is just trace um, the basic shapes first. So I'm going to start with this cypress tree here and it's just kind of long and takes up most of the space on this side over here. And it gets a little fat at the bottom. There we go. All right, so there's my tree. And then, now the next step, I'm going to um, work on the mountains in the background. And you're gonna have uh, a picture of this in front of you um, on the big computer screen um, as you're working on this. So I have the picture in this little book here right next to me. All right, so there are the mountains. Now I'm going to work on the little houses. The the house that stands out the most is a little church steeple. All right, so I'm going to do that one first. And around the moon is the moon is glowing here. So I'm just going to kind of make a faint circle around the moon. And then I'm going to draw in the movement. So the one of the beautiful things about the starry night is the movement. Um, especially with this um, swirl, the, the way the sky is swirling. Um, so we're going to block that in this swirly star swirls in the night sky. All right, and then that's about it. And then I'm just gonna add a few stars in here. And this is all very light. And around the stars, the stars are glowing. All right, so I'll just put a few things around the stars. And that's about it. So that's just a quick rough sketch. And now I'm gonna go in with oil pastels. All right, oil pastels. Um, I'm going to start with black. Now I know this seems silly because I've got black paper and I'm using black oil pastel, um, but you can still see it and it's still gonna make a big difference and make it look really effective. Oops, it broke. Sometimes they break, don't worry about it. We just move on. All right, so we're gonna outline everything um, that is going to be black right now. All right, now I've outlined most of the black that I want to use so far. Now I might go in with more black a little later and that's fine. So I'm going to finish up with the cypress tree now. Um, so I'm going to go in with some green, some different shades of green. Well, oh, that's a little bit more turquoise than I want. Let's, there we go. All right, so I'm going to kind of make some wavy lines. I'm just going to keep going in with green. All right, and that's standing out. That's showing up now a lot, isn't it? And it's kind of mixing in. It's kind of rubbing in with the black as well that makes it look really interesting. Now I can take, in my oil pastel box, I've got three shades of green. So, you know, I'm gonna use some different shades here. I've got lighter, this is the lightest green. So I'm just adding some of those. And these 
lines are wavy. And there we go. I feel pretty happy with my cypress tree. Okay, now I'm gonna go in. You know what, I think I will go in with the, the ground down here. So we've got blues, shades of blue. So I'm gonna start with the darkest blue. All right, and I'm just going to, I'm looking at my print of the starry knot here, or in the book, and I'm just kind of drawing, not exactly the way he's got it, but close. All right, so I'm just gonna continue to do this for a while and use some light blues in here as well. And there's a bit of green, green in here too, so I'm gonna add some green. So I'm gonna work on this a little bit. All right, now I'm, I've been working on the bottom here. I'm gonna work on these houses now. Um, so the houses stand out a little bit more, so I'm gonna put in some white. I don't want them too bright, um, but they are lighter. Um, so I'm gonna start in with white, and then I'm gonna go over with a little bit of blue just to make sure they don't, they're not too bright down in here. Cause this is a pretty dark area down here at the bottom. Um, so I've got some houses here. Now he's got a lot more houses in his painting than I drew here. That's all right. You just do what you, how you want to do it. All right. And then I'm just going to go over with a little bit of blue because they've got pretty, they look pretty blue, these houses. So the white is just to lighten it up and make it stand out a little bit. So that's why I've got white down there. Okay, there are my houses, I'm pretty happy. So, um, and then I used in here, so it looks like in the picture there are um, little farm areas, um, places where there are crops and things like that. So straighter lines like that. All right, and I'm pretty happy. I've worked this down here pretty well. I might go back and make any finishing touches later. Um, but yeah pretty content with the bottom. So now we're gonna go to the sky. Now the sky is the main main part where all the movement in is, where all the action is happening. Um, so I'm gonna start with blue. All right, and I'm just going to outline this, this um, part right here. All right, and to get this, I just made this line and curled around, and then curled around again, and around like that. There we go. All right, now, oh, I didn't do that part. Okay, so now I'm just going to um, put in some short, um, short, lines like this just to kind of give it now I'm going to do this um, the same thing like this with lots of different shades and colors so I'm going to go white and yellow and light blue all right so this is kind of how um, he did it with not with oil pastels obviously but with um, oil paint just these short short lines. I'm just going to get a few dark ones in there to give it some depth. All right, well, I feel like I'm happy with my swirly sky. Um, now I'm gonna go in for the moon, and the moon is nice and light. All 
All right, now I wanna make them really stand out. So I'm gonna use some more white here. And when you use white over yellow, for example, that'll just make it even um, lighter. Now, if you're doing this on blue paper, it'll come out a little bit different. Yeah, I'm just finishing this up now. <clears throat> now short, short, short lines, short strokes. That's and the, some darker. I'm adding a little bit of darker blue in here now. And when the two oil pastel colors combine, they kind of, when you, they rub together, it makes a really interesting look. All right. All right, there we go. I feel pretty happy. So when you feel like you're done, take a minute before you say you're done. Always take a minute. Take a few minutes, look at it really well. And think to yourself, is there anything more I can do? Are there any other colors I can add? Um, maybe a little bit darker here. Is there anything more I can do before I'm done? All right, so I always want you to get into the habit of looking at it for, you know, a good full minute or even two, just to see if there's anything else you can do. Well, I feel pretty good about it. Um, and there you go. There is Vincent van Gogh's Starry Night. All right, I hope you guys have fun with this. Bye-bye.